Hey guys, Cream Crazy here doing my customary in the news bulletin like I do every single Wednesday. I hope you're hope you're laid back, relaxed, or in any form of position where you find comfortable, because this is gonna be, to be honest, quite a short little bulletin this week, because again, the wrestling world has not given me anything of much note. But what I have got here is pretty significant. So let's hope you all haven't heard these, or in some cases if you have, put your opinion in the comments section if you want to. Remember that indie wrestler, Devin the Hannibal Nicholson, who was suing Abdullah the Butcher for giving him hepatitis C a couple months back, right? Well, if you don't remember him, you'll know him now, because he's now filing a discrimination lawsuit against WWE because his contract was rescinded because he was hep C positive. Now, WWE, like most other jobs, you've got to pass a requirement, medical requirements tests, don't you? To basically say, okay, you're not a threat to the other employers, you're not a threat in terms of you could be easily killed, that kind of shit. In any job, you get given health and safety, self-assessment, and all that shit to basically get through the job, don't you? Think, I had a go at you, um, Devon, because Last time, you, I told you, I told it right there, down here in the middle, I think it was one of my first couple of bulletins on this, that I said that you should have known about Abdullah the Butcher's reputation before possibly going into a match with a guy known for this shit, right? But now, I should tell you this, you should understand how working standards, how trading standards, how shit work. You have to know medical standards and requirements because in a job you got to pass this shit especially in a sports slash entertainment company where hepatitis c in the wrong place could lead to could lead to possible infection of other people that's dangerous no shit you were your contract was terminated they wanted to protect their independent contractors because they could sue yeah, they could sue because they're independent. They have to pay for their own health insurance. They, WWE weren't just trying to save their back, they were trying to save the others as well. Alright? And I keep, I often go this, you've got to read the fucking fine print. Because the world is not going to take you very kindly if you go into a job, have some bad happen to someone else, and... Hey look, that's why Armour Johnson got released, wasn't it? He kept injuring people, and then he got injured himself. The guy wasn't fit out for wrestling properly, even though he was a former Intercontinental Champion, he then got fired. Same thing happens here. You could put someone in danger of getting Hepatitis C. No shit you were fired. And the thing is, you're, you want millions of dollars out of this, right? I, I will be sickened to my stomach if WWE ends up going to court with this and then loses a shitload of money to a douchebag who couldn't be bothered to know what medical standards and practices are needed to get into a company like this. Because if you had no, if you had an idea, you would have blamed it on yourself, you would have blamed it on the promoter, who at least ag you agreed with this shit to be in a match with Abdullah the Butcher. You would have understood what to do. But you don't, because you're a mindless fucktard who really does not know how to think. Seriously, I hope I don't have to report on this guy again. Because this story, shows, like I said before, shows me the modern day problems of society. Because he is a person who really thinks, Oh, nothing's going wrong for me. I can't blame myself for my decisions. And I can't look at other people's, other people's legal alma matters because they're stupid. I therefore want money from people. It's just stupidly fucking annoying. And I do not want to report on this douchebag again. I do not want to report on this douchebag again. So if any news comes in, I'm probably going to ignore it unless it is something massive. Oh, amazing, that took up four minutes. Fuck! <laughs> Apparently, the great Carl Lee has said he is done with being an active wrestler and will not go back to the WWE for some time. He says he wants to go back to India and act for a while. He is incredibly popular in India because, obviously, he's probably the most famous wrestler to come from India. He, of course, one of the worst in-ring workers ever. I'm not going to deny that, that's completely true, and I think all of you know that already. But, Carly, if you want to go off and act in India, you're welcome to. Good luck in all your future endeavours, man, because actually, in the longest yard, you were not too bad. So, you know what, if you act and you prove to be something alright, then I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's, your, it's your future, you do what you want to do. And this is big news for me. CM Punk has dethroned John Cena as WWE's number one merch seller. And this is the uh, and this is the first time someone has done that permanently 
in six years. Six years! Wow. <laughs> I thought the DX revivals and other th and Batista and a load of other things could have stopped Cena, but fuck no, it didn't. And the and the one and the thing is the only other time it was really broken since Cena became the top dog was when Rock returned and and there's his merch sold like hotcakes basically that then dissipated Cena took back the top spot but now Punk's two T-shirts the ice cream bar and the best in the world T-shirt now sell outsell Cena and the Rock's T-shirts by nearly twice as much hell even Zack Ryder made it into the top ten merch seller list you know what. Is this a sign that CM Punk needs to be pushed? Because remember what I last heard. If you have things done on merch sales alone, based on popularity, like I know WWE does. I'm trying to look outside, there might be something out there. Basically, if merch sales dictate a push, Punk should be pushed. Because he's number one. Therefore, if he's number one in merch sales, he's number one in everything. So, make some sense of it, WWE. And actually do that. Make... Punk, number one in the company now. Casino now is not that. So, do what you gotta do. Some WWE 12 news here, if you guys are interested. I know Rico 3 will be. The mystery WWE 12 superstar will be announced in one week. For real this time, according to Corey Ledesma's Twitter feed. Road to WrestleMania mode info will also be coming next week as well. Yes, come on! I can't wait till Tuesday, till Tuesday, Wednesday, wherever it is. I cannot wait for this next week. I know on Friday we've got Vader, Booker T and Kevin Nash's profiles being unveiled. We know then also the DLC profiles will start coming out. And we're also going to get universe mode information at the end of the month. So you know what? This game already looks fucking incredible. It should be even more amazing when we find out who this guy is. Again... Foley, Jericho, Lesnar. I'm making my bets right there on which of those guys it could be. And then, uh, oh, I'm onto the last bit of news already. Good God, I told you there wasn't much. Uh, no, actually, there's another piece of news I've completely missed out here. Rey Mysterio wants and hopes to be back in the ring for Mania, despite WWE believing he will not be wrestling until sometime after that. This, Ray, is why you should fucking retire. I, okay, I go on about Ray a lot, as you lot know by now, but you can't get back from an injury which takes almost a, a, a ten, eight to ten months out. You can't just skip on that and not fully heal just because you want to get back for WrestleMania. Triple H and Batista both were injured around WrestleMania a couple of years running. They didn't make it, and they took some time, and they got their injuries to heal to the point where they could wrestle. Right? This shows how big-headed you are, Rey Mysterio, because you... You don't care about your own health. And you just want to go back in the ring. You want to go... You want, you want to hurt your knee again? Go back to another knee surgery? Remember, the more knee surgeries you have, the worse your knees get. I have to keep reminding you that. But, honestly, this is where you should just look at yourself and go, Okay, I want to come back and make a big impact for one final run. I'm going to make sure I rest up. But if you don't do that, it just... It shows that you really don't give a fuck. I know I'm sure people say, oh, he shows passion for the industry. Passion for the industry is coming back at the time when you know you're ready. He wants to be ready before he's even healed. That's... That's crazy. Ray, you're not going to make it for Mania. Please be back for WrestleMania 29, so I can hopefully go see UV Sin Cara. Because that would be something worth it. You're not going to be there for WrestleMania. Get your head out of your ass. And then finally, NXT is moving to Wednesday nights on WWE.com. I really couldn't give a fuck. Because it's NXT moving to Wednesdays. People think SmackDown moving to Tuesdays. Could be. Could be not. I don't honestly care. But... <laughs> Honestly, if it's just sack, if it's get rid of NXT right now, I really couldn't give two shits. Just get rid of it, everything will be fine. And guys, actually, to be honest, that's the end of my news. It's taken longer than usual because that Devon Hannibal Hannibal Nicholson rant went on a bit longer than I expected. Because I do hate that fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, sue me for liable, why don't you, you douchebag? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, learn some lessons next time, kid. You're not going to end up whining and complaining to the lawmaker. I don't think I've ever held this middle finger up that long in a video before, but I'll say it again. 
Devon Hannibal Nicholson, wherever the fuck you are, if you are watching anything to do with this video, well, you can go stick your head up your ass and go fuck yourself, because you are a sorry excuse for a human being because of your stupid money-grabbing nature. I hope to God I've got something out there, because I have been actually quite angry all day, and this has been a great remedy. Guys, I've been Queen Crazy, you've been people watching, I'll be back probably on Sunday for my next rant. I hope you'll be there for it. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button, comment down below on, what, on your opinions, click that like button as well, and also Q&A questions, I'm accepting them now. Got two for the October Q&A at the end of the month. Go up to my channel link up there, and you'll be able to put in your questions. You're about, what, two or three weeks now? So go ahead and do it. You don't want to miss out. Guys, I'll see you next time. Stay well. Yeah. See ya.